So I'll uh, do the last exploits of Selena's gang and uh, let's check out the cemetery if we can't find anything. So I'll see you guys there in a minute. Look at that. So we're back in Flyville. The uh, cemetery filled with buzzing flies in my ear. But uh, let's see if we can't access the cemetery over here because there seems to be multiple cemeteries over here. There was also this explosion which we might have to do as well. We'll have to do. We're probably going to see something. Although there seems to be more people here now. Find the treasure hidden in the cemetery. So it was buried alongside someone else. There's footsteps over here. Tracks. Yeah, indeed, tracks. Okay, so they lead over here. Bloomers. Yeah, romantic as all hell here. Okay, so they were called the Bloomers, I think. There's something over there as well. What's this? Graves dug up. Uh, thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Oh yeah, so that's for the other quest, I presume. So nothing in there. Um, maybe it's down here. Seems to be a door here as well. Probably gonna be a few enemies down here as well. So let's take this door. Um, seems like a very nice room, but with nothing in it. Okay then. So let's continue a bit deeper. I'm gonna start using Quen already. Ooh, thank you for that. And now, Grave Robbers, there we go. Hi, Grave Robbers. And let's take Axie for the other one. And there we go. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. So Igni seems to be working better. Yeah, fuck off. Now the other one. Jesus Christ, buddy. Christ, what the hell? I think I found the strongest guy in the game. Might be noisy, but doubt they're the source of the sounds in question. So yeah, Gerald is still talking about that other quest, I think, but about the fact that we heard strange noises in the cemetery. But that was something at least. Well, might as well take the swords, right? Uh, let's see if there's anything else around here. So this is something more glowing ore. Um, they were looking around over here. I am actually a grave robber myself at the moment. Orders from Robin. Honey croissant, pickaxe hat and rope. Let's read that. That foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again. But he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive. So the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls and other valuables, bum nibbling Bruce tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk sh milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. Yes, apparently ever since Selina's death, that kid's been moping near Orlimur's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. Okay. Why is there a cat here? So this is at Selena's grave and he was talking about her kitty face, but... Why is there a cat here? That's weird. So that's uh, the treasure apparently. Journal kept by Quail, a gardener. 
diagram for the two sand steel sword and a lot of craft. Holy shit, there was a lot here. Let's read this. So getting bored, there's really sod all to do here. A quick morning rounds enough water to enough to water all the plants. Flower bed in front of the embassy doesn't demand much care either. And so it goes day after day. Maybe tonight I'll take a jaunt to Saint Sebastien. Play a hand of Gwent. Blood Gwent lost a whole month's wages next month too. Racked up debts with that grey bill Pelegrin. Heard he doesn't let such things slide. Got to scrounge up a few florins somehow, or this might end badly for me. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary. In the coming days, they'll send a transport carrying wine, bought for the imperial court, along with some unused operational wherewithal. My guess, they mean a sack stuffed with florins. Information like that could be worth a fortune to a lad from the right part of town. Greybill Pelegrin slaughtered the caravan's guard, snatched all its cargo, had the gall to deliver the patch of coin to me at the embassy. Said it was my share. I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it soon enough. I hid what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden planters anymore, so his workshop's the perfect hiding spot. Greybill told me to keep my, my ears open at the embassy, find out when they'll have another caravan to grab. As if... As an afterthought, he added the guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I stole the next convoy's route from the secretary's office. It's the price I must pay for my idiot idea of going in cahoots with Greybill Pelegrin. The transport set off. This time it's escorted by Arnold Ape Bloom, commander of the embassy guard. Greybill's men don't know they're, what they're in for. A fight against elite soldiers. When he finds out, then it's time to get out of here. Coin I set aside should be enough to start afresh somewhere far, far away. Naked seems like a good direction. So that I think should add another quest, no? Okay, apparently not. Nothing of interest. So let's loot all of this as well. Starting to gather quite a bit of gear that I might be able to dismantle or sell. Uh, and now that we're here, might as well take a look around at the source of that uh, moaning. Uh, so let's check out the coffins here as well, because there's quite a bit of interesting loot inside of the dead's coffins as well. Sorry, I have to put it like that, but... Uh, let's swap to the quest. So, till that to a spot, using your Witcher senses, search the cemetery for the source of the noises. I'm gonna assume we need to head even deeper into the cemetery. But uh, we'll only know for sure if we find something. Ooh, formula for yellow at armor dye. Not that I want my armor to be yellow, to be honest. This place is big. And hit him harder. What's this? You'll not find wood here. Not paying wood, that is. What's this? Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. That's a bit of a hypocrite, Geralt. I mean, we've been uh, robbing all what these the graves here. Devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. Okay, the cat diddler. I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Called you a cat diddler? Or... Something else, Geralt. Uh, let's go with uh, the uh, Hangman's Venom. And there we go. Poisoned and uh, burning alive. And off with his head. Oh, God. It's over there. Uh, let's see. Yep, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for that. That's the ass too. Good wine. Uh, and now let's do what they were doing. Just rob everything. Some more armor. And there's a book here. Ode to Gwent. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Sounds like uh, poetry to me. Uh, but apparently also not the source of the uh, howling. So let's get back upstairs 
and uh, get back to that main area because it's pointing us in that direction. You know what? We heard those noises at night because I don't seem to find anything. So I'm gonna meditate until nighttime. Additional weapon racks now available at Corvo Bianco. Okay, so now it's night again. So those weird noises should come from somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Okay, so we do need to go downstairs, but it... Holy shit. That doesn't sound good, honestly. So let's go down and see what we can find. So, noise is coming from here. Jesus Christ, that doesn't sound... Wait. There's a room here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save. And uh, protect myself. Hello? Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. What's with this statue? Let's research this. Mm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Hmm. Seems to be something behind the statue here as well. A little alcove. What's this? Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Okay. And a broken bolt. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Okay. Is, is that, isn't that everything we found? Okay, there's not a plaque here. Louis de Corentin died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Okay, Geralt. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. So, no ghosts? Of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. I I think I think it is the spot. But hey, let's go with Quan again. Uh, we need to go deeper, apparently. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. <laughs> okay, then. So every time we leave, she starts screaming again. Maybe there's two people buried next to each other that don't really like one another. Hello? Mm, something's not right. Need to hide. See how things Okay, let's out. hide behind the dinghy here. You'd rather lie about all day. Flipping those cards like some... There we go. Disgusting Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you. That you would cast off the yoke of gambling. So it's a... A bickering dead couple. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. You're making a hell of a lot of noise. Mind keeping it down. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. <laughs> Neighbors? Everyone here is dead. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Um, slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt. And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? <laughs> because I warned you some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up. Both yeah, thank you, Gerald. Um, 
Whose crypt is this rightfully? Who does the crypt belong to rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The Decorant Towns. Are you illiterate? Oh, I'm so gonna drag your corpse out of here. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owe. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. <laughs> what? I knew it was you. And now you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards. Apparently she would. So, uh, a gambling addict or a Not woman that's a bit too devout? I fairy cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book, thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. Um... I don't think you do know where she, she hit the, the cards. About it. Huh. Till death All do right. you pause. Gotta move one of them out. Um. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for crime. <laughs> After which he promptly added. So take Lewis or Margot's urn from the crypt. Let's take Lewis's urn. Because I don't like this guy. No, no. It is I. Urn with the ashes of Louis de Corentin. There we go. He called me an illiterate. I mean. I've read pretty much every document in the for that game, so I will not stand for that. Oh, well, then listen, I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. Uh, you are why? That's just it. I was not, but I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Um, it should. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Seriously? I think he's gonna try and hold everyone there. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, dry. Very dry. I mean, what the hell? That was just a, a bit stupid. Deeper in the catacombs. Just flipping her off like that. Right, let's go. Find the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair's chamber. That's still downstairs. Oh, I'm mistaken. I'm sorry. So go downstairs. And apparently being part of a Gwent association causes you to uh, get buried along with the other members. So in here then? Chamber Louis mentioned. Gotta be. Okay, so this is where I uh, defeated those guys as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, so we did that prematurely. Um, let's put it... That ought to do. Put it over here then. And now he's gonna annoy those guys, probably. Right. High time Marco paid out. Okay. So let's go get our Quent cards. In the hopes that nothing goes down here. Okay, so back to the original room. Hello, Marco. Done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then via right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Okay then. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got Thank it. you. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a, a happy ever after. Oh, great. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but... I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or a privy. Okay, well... Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. 
ought to feel right at home. Farewell. I have a feeling we're gonna be back because he made too much no oh for Lepriotas won't Halt Kukuk goes there. Well what's your the business at the cemetery? Are you scared of me? Witcher. Raids haunt your catacombs. Ah, so it's true what old Lanzano said about the racket at the cemetery. I thought it grave robbers, perhaps, but wraiths? Have you? We dealt uh, with them. Took care of them. This Lanzano, think he might pay me for solving his problem? Oh, that's more than certain. Look for him at the clever clocks. Okay, sounds Thanks. good. So now we need to first. I'm gonna first get those cards. So I'll see you at their uh, house in a minute. So we're looking for a tree shaped crest and then hopefully some pretty interesting cards. Um, down below here, a tree crest. That's, that's not it, right? That's just. No. Should be down here somewhere. Oh, over there. Yeah. Big shiny tree. Tree on the sign. Must be the house. It was in the garden of the house. Let's go around and up, apparently. Probably one of the few houses where you need to go up. Need to go around. Yeah, I just went around. How do I go even? Oh, there we go. Pigeon shit. All over the place where you can uh, climb down and well up okay there we go there's a chest here as well so garden key uh, that's gonna help us get out and then there should be underneath here cards hello Gerald mm, not yep, here okay so that that took you a while Gerald maybe you should try and dig a bit faster next oh shit 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 oh do, 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 do. Oh shit, yeah, right. Uh, uh da -da. Oh shit, I am dying. I hate arch pores. I really, really do. That was terrible. Again. Still. Jesus Christ. Come on. Um, so, under the rose bush then. Quinn is making a lovely noise with electric crackling. Loot! Ah, just like she said. Barclay L. So, that's only one card though. And the Gwent cards. As promised. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take a look at them though. Barclay Elves. It was just this card apparently. Can be placed in either the close combat or ranged combat row. Cannot be moved once placed. Nothing else though. Okay. Could have been better, but we'll, uh, we'll accept that. So now we can exit around here somewhere, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Let's unlock that, and I'll see you guys at Charles Lanzano at the Clever Clogs in a minute. So, the Clever Clogs is probably an inn of some kind, probably over here then. Uh, seems like the textures haven't loaded in. Clever Clogs Tavern, yeah, there we go. Okay. Hello. Seems he's upstairs, so let's take a look in his room then, I suppose. A drunken man in the staircase. And there we have. Is this Charles? Yeah, hello, Charles. Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Took care of it. Truly? The howling's gone? For good? Wonderful! Ah, to sleep in my own bed again at long last! Sounds good. 
And uh, do you have a reward but, for me? But what was it? Some ancient filth entombed deep in the catacombs. Well, just a, a marital spat. <laughs> nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. It's no problem. For your I was curious myself. Didn't even accept the contract beforehand. Thanks. So thank you, Charles. And 50 crowns. That probably could have been more if I said it was a giant monster. But uh, that's the Till Death to a Spart quest. We got uh, a lot of loot out of it though, so uh, worth the trouble anyway. So that's about it. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And the sky looks a bit weird. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. And because uh, I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. Uh, next time we're going to probably continue on with the main quest. So we're going to meet Damien at Count de la Croix's mill after midnight. So see you guys then. Goodbye.